good morning from Paris Charles de Gaulle airport. I was supposed to be flying out to Miami yesterday itself but because of a delay in my incoming Etihad Airways flight from Abu Dhabi to Paris I couldn't make that flight and I was stuck the entire night here at Paris and I got a transit hotel here in Paris to stay for the night but if you want to learn more about the fiasco that unfolded yesterday watch my Etihad Airways video from Abu Dhabi to Paris you'll learn more about Etihad Airways as well go watch that first link down in the description below but today we'll be finally be going to the United States I'm finally going to Miami back to college and we have a flight at 10 20 at Paris it's almost 8 30 over here so I'm gonna go check out of the hotel and then make my way to the boarding gate already have my boarding pass and all that all of that is sorted out so yeah let's go to Miami and let's get this journey started. Let's go. Okay, just checked out of the hotel. Now headed to the boarding gate. It's two hours to flight. Hopefully there are no more fiascos happening around now. You're pretending that you like somebody else Like you got boys waiting in line to take you home But tell the truth, you will spend the night alone Let's be alone So why don't we stay out to the morning light Cause two words can make a right We're just doing what we feeling right now So what the hell? Why you hanging? Finally at the boarding gate right now. It looks like it's a very very rainy day in Paris, so it looks like the flight's gonna be delayed by a bit. But that's okay. At least I'm going to Miami. On the way, I also got some breakfast because I've not eaten anything since yesterday, courtesy of Etihad Airways. Hopefully they refund me the money at least of what they're gonna spend at my hotel, which I paid. Let's see how that goes, but right now I just want to get to Miami. The flight looks like it's boarding, but I'm gonna have my breakfast and then take my time and then board. Right, you've checked my documents at the gate and they checked my F1 visa, my I-20 and all that and they finally let me go so I'm on my way to Miami So the Air France economy class cabin on this flight was laid out in a 343 configuration. The seat in front of you houses the in-flight entertainment system which was not one of the biggest in terms of screen sizes but was decently sized and was extremely responsive. More on that front later. Below the in-flight entertainment system you will find the USB-A port for charging along with the headphone slot for your in-flight headphones. Below that you will find the tray table which when you open you will find is extremely big and is good enough for working with a laptop or having your meal but not board at the same time. Once you close that you will find a cup holder which is not a common feature on most of the airlines but it is very very handy as you can use or hold a cup while your tray table is closed and I guess every airline should incorporate that in their seat design but below the cup holder you will find storage pockets where you will also find your in-flight headphones along with the sickness bag and below that is two more storage pockets one for storing your personal stuff like your boarding pass and another one for the in-craft safety manual the seat also comes with a pillow 
and a blanket which was very very soft and very handy especially on long flights like these and you also find a universal power socket for charging if you don't have a USB A charger on you now let's talk about the legroom and the legroom on this flight was decent it was not great but decent enough as you can see the seat in front of me and my legs has enough distance between them and if i reclined my seat i would have more legroom if needed but this was comfortable enough for a 10 hour long flight and so far i don't have a seat neighbor which means both the seats next to me are lying empty like you can see there is no one come but when i was boarding outside i saw a huge line for boarding so i guess the seats are filled but hopefully it stays that way and no one comes or at least the middle row seat is empty something like that it's always good to have an empty seat you know where you can keep your stuff that you have always always helpful so yeah fingers crossed hope it stays that way and yeah we'll get to it soon while i was waiting for boarding to be completed i tried to get a few views outside the window but they were all washed up because of the weather but after a delay of almost 15 minutes we started a push back from paris charles de gaulle airport and after a taxi time of almost 10 minutes we finally got our shot at the runway and without any further delay we took off straight into what was a very cloudy paris morning As soon as the seat belt sign turned off I decided to take full advantage of the entire row that I had to myself and make myself comfortable while I started to watch American Sniper on the in-flight entertainment system that Air France had but it was not long before the meal service started and food came around So Air France serves a proper three course meal even in economy class. For starters I had this salad and for main I had some rice and chicken gravy which came along with a warm french bread, a bottle of water and some butter and cheese. And for dessert I had this chocolate marble cake. Now the only downside to the entire meal service was that it was served with wooden cutlery and metal cutlery is the norm nowadays in economy class especially in middle eastern airlines so i was kind of disappointed not to find metal cutlery on air france because it is really really tough to eat with wooden cutlery in these flights Now I don't know if it was just me who was so hungry and having not eaten anything the previous day but the food that was provided by Air France was excellent and extremely delicious. The salad that was the appetizer was kind of dry and a little bit cold to be honest but I didn't really mind it because it tasted very good. Now the main course that was the rice and the chicken hit the bullseye as it was extremely extremely delicious and I had no complaints about it. The bread was also warm enough and the butter and cheese was also good along with it and the dessert that was a chocolate marble cake oh my god it was so so good it really topped up the entire meal service and overall i would say that air france does a very very good job on the in flight meal that they provided me on this trip to miami Now let's talk about the in-flight entertainment system and like I said earlier the screen is decent sized not very big but not very small as well the screen is also extremely extremely responsive and they have a lot of french options being a french carrier that is very normal but they also have decent english options such as i found no time to die and venom let there be carnage so they keep on updating the latest movies if you see there are also options in regional choices including hindi so there are few hindi movies which you can choose from if you want to watch bollywood but other than that they have all the important stuff that you need in a in-flight entertainment system such as a map anything for kids music tv all that is present so not honestly the best entertainment system that i've seen in the sky but it is decent enough for a 10 hour flight
after the meal service it was time to get some sleep and when i woke up we were almost three and a half hours out of miami and we were flying somewhere over the atlantic ocean after freshening up in the loo i was able to grab a warm coffee from the back alley thanks to the wonderful crew that i had on board and after that i settled into my seat in hunt of being able to find something to watch on the infer entertainment system but there was nothing that interested me so i fired up my ipad and started watching a movie on netflix that i had downloaded prior to my flight by the time i finished my movie we were almost an hour away from miami and the crew came in one last time with one last meal service now this meal was served in the form of a small snack box the snack box consisted of a hot dog bread which had some cheese filling which was excellent and very tasty along with that was a warm bun from the meal service and similar to the meal service there was again a chocolate marble cake which was once again excellent and along with that came an orange juice and some passion fruit drink which i was not very sure what it was but it tasted okay so yeah that was pretty much it that was served in the snack box and it was a very good concluding meal to the flight after the meal i spent most of my time at the window trying to get good views of the miami coastline while we came in to land into what was a very cloudy day at miami international airport Forty-eight hours later, finally made it to Miami. It's been one hell of a long journey, but yeah, finally back in the states. I can't wait to tell you what I feel about Air France. It's just been such a crazy ride. But let me clear my impression, and then I'll talk to you guys about whether you should fly Air France or not. Okay, so finally got through immigration. It's a really, really long queue. Like literally, all the flights have to land at the air itself. So it took me at least an hour to clear immigration. But right now, we are at the luggage or claim area, and it appears there are no bags coming at all. Like you can see, I'm like sitting on the thing because there's no luggage coming at all. Like the entire carrier is empty. I don't know what they're doing with the bags. It's been over an hour since the flight landed. But yeah, this is actually a good time to sum up how I feel about Air France. So, so to start with the ground experience, it was like really really smooth. I would say I didn't really have any interaction with through the ground stuff where I got my boarding pass the transfer kit. But it was pretty all right. And if you miss your connection to Paris, you should know that they will put you in a hotel. It's their fault. So yeah, I think the ground stuff is very good at Paris Charles de Gaulle. But one thing you should know at about the airport in Paris is it's really messy. The gates are really divided. So if you have a transit time of less than two hours, please don't book. This is your transit because you will definitely be missing your flight. Now let's talk about the onboard service. Now, like I said, the seat was pretty good. Having no seat neighbors was definitely a plus, and it really, really helped me get some good sleep. And otherwise, the solo seat was also the better good leg room and all of that. So yeah, the seat was pretty good and comfy. Nothing wrong on that end. The food, oh my god, it was so so good. It was really delicious. Like I thoroughly enjoyed the meal. Even the small snack box at the end of the flight, it was really really filling, and I really enjoyed it. So food on my end is complete five stars to Air France. The entertainment system. This is where I would rate them a little bit lower than five stars because it was kind of okay, not really good. The screen might have been bigger, but I guess they do it now on their new uh, newer aircraft that they can still put bigger screens. This looked like an old aircraft. The entertainment selection was also pretty okay. It was okay for a 10-hour flight. I just watched 
a movie but it's really catchy through 10 hours and I think the worry about them that time if you're on a longer flight I'm hoping it will pass then I guess it's gonna be a problem because you know a lot of regional choices if you're not a French understanding person so yeah and the crew last week they were fantastic they were on their feet they were really good in the middle of the flight I was feeling very thirsty so I just caught up and went to the back of the crew area and there was a crew talking to one of the passenger and I just asked her for a cup of coffee and she immediately made it was really nice it was a really good gesture they were really really attentive on their feet so, yeah that was my review of Air France from Paris to Miami hope you guys enjoyed it please do subscribe to the channel and like this video and if you have not watched any of the previous videos go search them below down in the description below you can check them out but this was one crazy 48 hours of journey please do like the video once again and i will catch you guys in the next one cheers